Hello, my beautiful beings and things. I hope everyone is doing well. We are back with Xenoblade. We have technically finished the game, but we have not finished with Xenoblade. We still need to do Future Connected today. Excited to see how things have changed. So let's get into it. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, I still see Alchemoth. Okay. I just want to kind of like analyze this a little bit. I still see Alchemoth. But maybe it's not in the same... I don't know. Okay. Xenoblade Chronicles. Future connected. I'm so excited. All right. Oh, don't keep me in anticipation. That, that symbol. Today. We use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! Oh... Yes! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. Okay. Yeah, we saw this. Let's explain a little bit more then. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. I don't know why this is... If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Okay, I see why they've done this now. Ooh, one year later. Ooh. Ooh. Got an airship kind of thing. Either this is very easy to learn how to pilot or uh, Shulk's a fast learner. Oh. There it is. Melia. We're inside of Alchemoth. All right. I'm on my way. <laughs> that voice! I don't know what... I'm very curious to see... What? Okay. Got a new hairstyle going on here. Okay. <laughs> I'm still kind of distracted by what was going on with Melia's voice there. Oh, it's still a beautiful landscape. No, oh, hello, Telethia. Oh, the Telethia still exist. Uh, I guess. When we did things, we didn't uh, exactly f fix the Telethia. I want to figure out what's... Alright, so at least the critters they know are all the same. What? Oh! My honest is show- oh. Because everything just like- <laughs> Crush. Is there any more land? Do we just have like this little bit of land going on and this random floating shoulder? Why is the shoulder floating? Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. Have they- <sighs> Quite. What in the world was that? They ch change the voice actress, or just I'm 
very confused by, or is it just, I mean, I would say older, but then she's like 88 in the base game, so she's 89 now. I don't think that would make, okay, all right. It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital, then suddenly a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. <sighs> it's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. I mean, he is very techy. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. I have to say I do like her out. Sister Pwn. We have... We have no Pwn with us? Or... Those voices. Maybe not with us. Are those? I'm very curious what's going on here. We have no Pwn. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute they are. It's Kino and Nene. Do we know them? What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course. Gameplay differences. Some elements of this new adventure are very different from the adventure thus uh, so far. The most major points will be introduced on the following pages. As you progress through the adventure, instead of chain attacks, you will an all new system for, for performing all out attacks. You still require segment of the gate to revive fallen allies. In the new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. All oh, right, well, wow, we're in trouble. Some allies will battle in a way not present before. The skill tree system has been removed. Okay. Oh, hey. We crash junks. Poor junks. Is there like a easy way? Okay, we get to swim back if need be. Anyways. Oh, we already have like a. Oh, no, we don't have a full map here. Oh, and I think we might have new things. I'm not certain. Oh, and we're level 60 for some reason. We lost some, uh... Alright, I've got distracted. <laughs> we need to help the Nopod, which are very, very cute. you get up here? I mean, the no Nopod are very resourceful, but mild down. Is this a uh, play off of Ryan's wild down? Is it wild down? Meh Let us help too. Miss Nelia, Mr. Shulk. They are super cute. Even by no pawn standards, they are super cute. How very welcome. More is always merrier. Just gonna bad to the music. Alright. Uh 
Let's see who we have here. I'm very curious. Got their arts. Oh my gosh, I worked so hard to get their arts all leveled up. <laughs> um. Oh wait, no. Healy bullet, healy kaboom. Okay, so you're air Sharla. Basically. Cure thing up here. Heal round round. Oh. If you're round. I love it. And you're basically air Ryan. Cool. I got this. <gasps> yeah, because I don't know how they have this set up quite yet. We're just gonna. Let's go! I can 100% get behind this music! This makes uh, the battles way more fun. I mean, not that I dislike the battle, but it just makes it even better. Oh, let's watch this we first. Did it. We did it! You're so cute. Job is good one, Kino. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. <laughs> Fitting for children of here upon Ricky's household. <gasps> oh, the Ricky's kids! <laughs> oh, that's. No wonder they're so extra cute. No injuries, Kino. Nene, <laughs> 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 very, very sorry. Yeah. Kino, not so good with strangers. Aw, are they real strangers? Oh, really? Most interesting. <laughs> Die of cuteness overload. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. Oh my gosh. They are way too cute for their own good. More no pod in my party. This is fantastic. Yes. Let's just create no pod army. I'm 100% behind this. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. Okay. Oh. So tell us. What were you two doing out there? Okay, this is some familiar music. Rather, how did you even get here at all? <laughs> that is, yeah, my question. Uh, about that. Are you two causing trouble? Did you run away from home? What did you do? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. <laughs> What? Stowaways. <laughs> oh. Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So. Ah, so that is where the junks comes in then. I appreciate it. But even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. 
And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. Hmm. That's... I thought you'd want to go. He's just being nice. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. <laughs> They're definitely Ricky's kids. <laughs> oh, I'm just being nosy, no fun. <laughs> oh. When we suddenly hear voices. Oh my gosh, now, so now, cute. Kino. Nene, what Kino with eyes of Rogo? <laughs> Kino, follow Mr. Shock from behind and do some sneak peekings. <laughs> Mama, Sister Paul followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Meme. Meme. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Don't they want to be here, Pop? Kino always look up to Dead upon. Wanna Aww. Too. That's so cute. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But maybe you're not pleased you're stowing away on a ship. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way, can become friends with people everywhere. Oh. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. It's so cute. So dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. <laughs> Baby Nopon are even cuter than regular Nopon. It's not fault of Sister Pon. Oh. Please not scold Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. <laughs> How can Kino you be mad at the DC? That cute. Be dead. Dad upon and Mama Pon take Kino in when Kino all alone. Oh. You were alone. Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dead Upon brings oh. Kino home. Said, here is Breath Upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Oh. Kino, all happy they could say. That why, that why. That they want to become Hero Upon and we pay that to Oh, you. this is so cute. <laughs> Oh, we're just starting. I'm already like, oh, I feel just, I just want to give this little nope on a hug. I want a Kino plushie now. <laughs> oh, you're too cute to be mad at. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is the most noble sentiment. I'm already in love with the story. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. But maybe a bit worried, I would say. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. Oh. oh really? Uh huh. A ship kind of crashed, so. Oh, if you know, must. <laughs> you really twist wing. I'm fine. <laughs> Well, I'm allowed to be sidekicks of Kino. <laughs> Blood relation or not, you are definitely Ricky's <laughs> Oh. Kino, wrong word. Supposed to say friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is too good. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, 
about that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you lying earlier? It's a bit of a hike. Oh, okay. Could we check out that cape? Oh. This looks interesting. <gasps> Is that ether stones? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. Oh, that's you true. Fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. And the she she tends. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Pompino! It all start here! <laughs> when in doubt, no pondu dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're little pawns. Rikanoka. Yeah, probably like, where did our children go? Uh, then again, I don't know. Maybe Riki has too many kids to keep track of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Ultimate father Riki <laughs> until his kids uh, stow away on a ship. <laughs> and run away from home. As long as Xenoblade 2 and 3 have no pawn, I'm happy. This is all I want. I said it yesterday, but uh, forget the, the argument of like, best girl, Melia, Fior... F nah, Ricky. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. Not even partially Hobbs. Not even girl. <laughs> Ricky. There we go. Don't... Are they actually his kids, or is he just bringing in kids like he does for, uh, Kino? Oh my gosh, yes. I just... Look at you. You're just this little... What are you doing? I don't... <laughs> Alright. I do want to go over there, but... Wait, what is that? Oh. Is this... It looks like it's sort of like a heart to heart, but it not. Wait, where am I going? Oh, oh, this is like the ether mines. Ah, Rogel. Oh, Ansel. Machna Ansel. Wait, is Machna Forest still there? I mean, things kind of exploded. Let's go. I'm definitely gonna have to level things. But I at least know more how I am. Mm, no. We're fine. I have a better idea how to use these arts, so... A quiet moment. Don't need the connections. Come back when you do. Okay. So it's basically... It's basically a heart to heart. Okay, let's change your party up. Bye, Shulk. We don't need you anymore. Bye. <laughs> a love for flowers. Oh. Don't they smell heavenly? Miss Melia is big fan of flowers? Oh, these are voiced. Yes, because of my mother. Okay. When I was young, she often asked for my help with the villa's flower beds. How about you, Nene? How did you grow up in Machna Force? Nene also love flowers very much. I see. Then we have something in common. Before, when I spoke of them to a Holmes friend, she said flowers are nice, but nothing beats a warm dinner. I got no understanding from her. <laughs> hmm. I think uh, she also talks to Dunban at a point, and he's like, "Ah, bugs, <laughs> flowers." Or, or I remember vaguely there's a conversation about flowers. From a heart to heart. Finally, fate sent me someone I can communicate with. <laughs> what Miss Melia say about dinner? 
I mean, flowers and dinner can't beat that combo. Just talking to myself. The dinner part wasn't really relevant. But Nene, big fan of dinner too. <laughs> you can be friends with both. Most of all, pollen orbs from factory in Frontier Village. They so very soft and so yummy scrummy. Look, that's not. Hold on. <laughs> Meme? When you said you love flowers, did you mean as a food stuff? <laughs> Meh? There is meaning other than? Oh, I should have known. You're one of them. <laughs> Nene, listen. Flowers are not simply special because they can be eaten. <laughs> we can admire their beauty. Or use them to create ornaments and works of art. And that oh, was whoops. Ornaments. Mama? Oh, yes. Nene, remember? Long ago, Dad upon make Mama upon flower crown for give us gifts. Oh, that's cute. Ricky did that. That knock on has hidden depths. <laughs> In any case, <laughs> I like learning all of these little things. Like it if you also had an interest in inedible flowers. <laughs> She's like, I. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn about how special these flowers are. If you did, then you too, just like your mother in her own day, may know the joy she felt. Okay, the next time Nene finds flowers that cannot eat, Nene will make pretty flower crown for Miss Melia. Huh? <laughs> To eyes and Nene, Miss Melia look most bestest in blue. What think? While I appreciate the offer greatly, weren't you originally of the regarding flowers as food persuasion? <laughs> Meh? If you make pollen orbs from not eatable flowers, they bitter and not tasty. Yes, a fair point. It is just as you say. So knock on see different but equal value in flowers depending on whether they're edible. Maybe it was foolish in the first place to try and choose only one while discounting the other. Ah, you're you're coming to a mutual understanding. This is well, cute. Then, I will humbly accept the sign of your affection. <laughs> <laughs> nay, nay, Roger that. And yet, why do it for me? Won't Kino and Shulk feel left out? Make for everyone. There is very good reason. You love flowers. Nene just want to see smiling face of Miss Melia, bright as sun rays. I would die for you. Oh my! <laughs> die for you and your brother. Mimi, <laughs> something wrong? <laughs> Nene, not say anything weird. Oh. You're just too precious for this world. It was just how sincerely you said it. I should take a leaf out of your book. Meh? <laughs> She's gonna take that too literally. Precious Nene, I look forward to the gift. Nene, pull out all stops. Although, I would feel a bit awkward were I the only one to wear one. Matching flower crowns. Together and exchange them afterwards. Promise. I love these quiet moments. Yes, naturally. I'm in love with this. <sighs> yeah, hopefully not poisonous flowers. I mean, who would not be ready to die for these precious beans? <laughs> Chive, so bad. On this feather swing instead of war swing, mild down, kush mash, hangry, here, here, best, best skill. Is this supposed to be his rage? Hangry, I, I can get behind that.
What's over here? Will we get to our... Oh! Cragmaw Caverns. <gasps> oh! Hi! I want to meet you! We're not bad friends! Alright. Are you locked in or are you guarding something? I'm wondering if... Like, the people that weren't in the main major colonies are like, What is happening? What's going on on the Baroness' shoulder? Oh! Wait, are they high into you? <gasps> oh! Why can't I... Companion's cape. Why can't I... You need a special tool in order to mine here? Huh. Alright. So here's like a outpost of High Intia. Or maybe half. Here. No, we found a a, a, a nopon. Oh there, strangers. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was so uh <laughs> That was so delayed. Oh oh yeah, uh, hi. See, you've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamov. Uh, no, that's exactly where we're headed. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? We fixed the transporters! The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. Oh. Well, the Fog King. That's interesting. What is the Fog yeah. King? Suddenly showed up in Alkamoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Interesting. Must be ghost. Ghost not shoot beams, dum dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. Ooh. <laughs> Melia cannot leave for five minutes. No. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. I mean, that's fair. If if you can't even like smack it, there's no need to die pointlessly. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the High Entia and anyone else we found. And gave up the capital. So that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland. Our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. Well, at least it's probably not filled with Telethia anymore. Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Shulk's very serious. Shulk took on a god, like, the Fog King is... <laughs> Boy, are you hard of hearing? He's stubborn. I heard you. He's friends with Dunban, this makes sense. Then you should know better. I don't think the Fog King would be a type of Telethia just because uh, they're very solid. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. 
No point. Why not? Shulk. Do you think we took all that lying down? But you didn't have Shulk. Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. No. Nah. We have Shock, Melia, and the children of Herapon. We can do it. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. Blunt force. We're just getting anyways. Does this mean we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Oh. Hello, who are you? You have very glowy hey, armor. How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Ah. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the majesty. <laughs> I'm like, do I trust you or not? <laughs> you, you stick out a lot. Perish the thought, your majesty. <laughs> the recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. Oh yeah, okay. No. I don't, I don't like you. A new age dawns. And we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. Melia, smack him. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon. <sighs> I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hm. I have no patience for wheedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. There you go. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. She's like, I'm going to proceed to ignore you. Majesty address is burdensome to me. <sighs> if you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. Did I so rude. So kind, Sir Gelgar. <laughs> oh, there is some uh, venom Make in that. No it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, oh, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. I mean, he's very practical. But, as much as I don't like you... If we can use you to our advantage, let's go for it. <laughs> He's oh, this is so awkward. Chuck's just like, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. Authentic. Why do you need to authenticate? The device is configured in such a way that only some of the high end here in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Uh... Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news. <laughs> Tasty Gelgar news. Is good friends. Uh. I. No. No. Kind thanks, Bird Mister. Unless you change your tune, no friend. Not at all. 
I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? No. I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I don't want to. I appreciate the offer. Thank you, Melia. We do not lack for strength. We have Shulk. He's much better. Indeed. And Ernopon friends. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Uh, no. You shall Certainly. not. Certainly. Uh, By the way, sir, can we just push you off a cliff, please? This outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Hmm. Yes, because of the machina who live there. <sighs> what do you mean? Uh... Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Okay, uh, no, not really. Can't get betrayed if there's no betrayers. Uh, it wasn't the Machina. Well, yes, the retaliation, and it was misguided, but nah. Were it not for them? We needn't have lost our brethren and our home. Uh, that is, you know, patently false. Patently false. Blame Zanza. You couldn't stand the machina and thus moved away. Precisely. Uh, that cliff over there is looking more and more tempting to just shove you off of. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Yeah, it was a big misunderstanding. You're talking to the hero Shulk. And you're talking about other people being narrow-minded? Don't worry, he's just... Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Thank you, Shulk. Thank you for distracting us. Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gilgar. We will take our leave of you now. Bye! I hope to never you see you again. Of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Oh, okay. That's where we found earlier when we were exploring. There's an Opon friend there. So Gelgar, thanks for this. Shulk, don't don't thank him. Just just run see away. Friend? <laughs> you can punish him later, Melly. You were at the Empress. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe do some self-reflection. You do some self-reflection, change. Uh, then, then maybe we can be friends. But the same to you all, unless. Self-reflection by the cliff. Melia just... There's a giant rock. Anything behind the giant rock? Did we go behind the giant rock? Who knows? This is this is how we play this game. Just... What's over here? Oh! This is why. Oh! We have another Pororo's favorite. But there's... wait... No, we have two of them now? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Alright, hello, friend. Would you like to tell me your troubles? Have you come here across Navir Highland? Then again, then you must have met those ether based organisms along the way. I speak of the common monsters composed entirely of ether. Yes, these ether organisms have appeared across all of Navir Highland recently, and in large numbers too. There must be at least 
two points they're spawning from, as their exact properties differ based on location. Anyways, I'm concerned. When these organism blah, 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 organisms gather, they create a strong ether field that attracts other monsters. If you haven't seen them spawn yourself, it's possible there are some is some prerequisite to it happening that we're not aware of. If you notice a flock of these organisms in your travels, I'd like to ask you to eliminate them with all haste. Alright. Nebulous. Thank you very much. Actually, it's my little brother who told me all about this. He vowed to take matters, matters into his own hands if the situation did not approve on its own. But as his sister, I prefer that he not put himself in harm's way. I'm sorry to trouble you are all, but I hope you understand. This is for the common good. Fortune be with you. Alright. Hi. Hey, Melin. Yes? I know it is no business of mine to be asking outsiders, but would you consider assisting us with a hunt? Some of our people sustained inter injuries while out on the last one, leaving us somewhat short-staffed. Okay. Go down from here in the direction of the lake and you'll arrive at Naver Highland. There you should find some Makna X. We were able to lure them out with bait not long ago. Would it trouble you to defeat them and collect some X iron hearts for us? Once you've finished, be sure to lay some bait to the west of the Naver Highland. They won't congregate if we don't coax them out, and our hunters could do with the assistance. X are quite partial to rainbow carrots. It would spare us a great deal of effort if we were to find some for us. Oh, we found a few. But. I hope it's not too much trouble to ask all of this of you, but we greatly appreciate it if you could find the time. Nice! Caranella? Caranel? Hello there. How would you feel about assisting me in my research? Well, Shulk would love it. Come now, don't make those faces. It's an easy task, I swear. I'll take the grimace as a. Happily, ma'am, shall I? You don't rock it. See, I've developed this tool for exploiting ether deposits, a common ether pick, if you will, and I'd like you to test it out. Hmm? You're still looking uncertain, struck dumb by my apparent genius? Of course, you're used to being able to mine ether deposits on the Bionis with run of the mills tools, aren't you? Well, that won't work here on the Bionis shoulder. The deposits are too dense. You need a specialized implement, i.e., this. Ah. Previous iterations of the ether pick were pretty heavy machinery though, requiring training and a licensed operate. So to cut through the rigmarole, I looked into developing one that could e even lay people could, like you could use from- Use right from the off! Who phrases things like that? If you prove me right, I'll even let you keep it once you're done. How about it? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, you'll do it? Well, that's just grand. See, I made the thing so I wouldn't mean it. It wouldn't mean anything if I only tested it myself. Thanks. I used to have an assistant helping me, but they seemed dissatisfied for some reason and ran off before I knew it. Thank you. Let me know how you get on. There we go. Hmm, if I recall Karenel's words, I could lo locate an ether deposit and give it a good whack. No time like the present, I suppose. I'll look forward to the this experience. <laughs> I need pictures of Melia just like smacking things with <laughs> Well, that didn't sound too good. Broken ether pick. What what just happened? Caranel Uh Run away! We didn't do anything! No. <laughs> well, so, you didn't do a very good job at manufacturing this. Hey. Thanks for that. I have to say, I didn't expect it to break so easily, though. Right, give it here for a minute. I see, I see. So the problem is durability. All right. Due to the higher ether density on the Bionis shoulder, it seems like it, it crystallizes into a form that's perfect for gems. Just reinforcing the pick isn't likely to improve the yield in practice. Thank you all. This has been a valuable learning opportunity. I feel like I can take my research to the next level now. I did want you to have the common ether pick as thanks, but now that it's broken, it won't really do, will it? 
Well, that's too bad. I'll just have to give you the old retail model instead. Like I said, it's got its kink, so it requires a trained hand, but it's better than nothing, right? You should be able to use it to harvest decently high purity gems from all around the shoulder. It seems saves you time crafting. Oh! Oh, just straight up gems. Okay. Nice. Oh, grown up. Oh. I love these. Brother Sister Pon. Hope they're not giving Mama Pon too much trouble buckets. <laughs> trouble buckets. <laughs> like bucket fulls of trouble. I really want to say this about my my some of my kids. Oh, don't give me any trouble buckets. Nay, nay. There you are. <laughs> You've wandered off. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're the one giving your mama pawn trouble buckets. You literally ran off onto junks, stowed away, and they have no idea where you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? <laughs> Do they have like proper toes? I'm kind of curious. I'll, I'll finish this thought after. Little pawn, never change. Nay, nay, we'll rub back later and go, there, there. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> You're a good sister, nay, nay. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, nay, nay? Staring into the void. Nay, nay, being reminiscing about frontier village, tiny bit. Oh? I see. So, that's where you were living before? Yeah. Yep. In Paz, Nene always adventure into Magna Forest with Brother Sisterpon and climb trees every day. Aww. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. Nopon boys all good for nothing lazy boys. <laughs> oh. It all too much for Mama Pon to handle, so Nene have to help take care of Brother Sister Pon and Dad Pon all full up. I mean, yeah, Ricky needs a lot of <laughs> taking care of. I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. Uh, he'd probably agree. <laughs> Dad Pon, after he'd chosen for Village Hero Pon, has set off on great adventure with Mr. Shulk. House become total pig's die. <laughs> On underfoot everywhere. <laughs> just the way I've okay. As much as I'm like, yeah, a little bit about Melia's voice, like Nene's voice acting beautiful. Wow, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, was this after Ricky joined us? So that must mean. Yep. Before Nene become friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here. We actually meet one year ago, back in Frontier Village. Oh. Dad upon stomach bumbly bumble. Oh. Oh, so cute. Dad upon meet food. Dad upon give crab. <laughs> so many baby pods. bad about this now though in my defense you've really grown it's almost like you're a whole different nopper <laughs> in nopper biology age between 10 and 15 often experience growth spur that why when compare nene now and nene one year ago it not too surprising if not realize they the same person <laughs> this is my kiss and dad yes <laughs> it's still quite a surprise I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> now Mr. Shog No can rely on post-growth spurt Nene more than ever. <laughs> we can always count on Nopon. Us Homs could learn a lot from you. But Nene have these moments lately when get teeny bit lonely. Oh, why didn't it? Ah, poor 
from harm. Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was me. <laughs> nay, nay, prepare some grub. Too sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. <laughs> really, that's. <laughs> she's just tidying, she's hungry. We thought she was so grown up for always taking care of Kino. But really, she's just a kid. No wonder she's lonely. Aww. Mr. Shulk, something happened? Tell me too rumbly to moo, or what? Wait, I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with a meal. It'll be more fun that way. Oh. Mr. Shulk. Would not say no. <laughs> oh. Yuki, you have the best children. These ought to revitalize our injured warriors. This may be hard to stomach, but their powerful medicinal properties are sure to expedite the healing process. And since you laid out the bait, our next round of hunting should be relatively painless. We're very much indebted to you to this day. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, we murdered things for you. Hey. My little brother tells me the ether organism situation is under control now. It's thanks to you, isn't it? Thank you. There we go. I just really wanted to escape. Hi! <laughs> Mimi! <laughs> I'm remembering the first time I heard this music. This was with Square Stash. Before friends pass here! Pleased to hear story. I sense an ordeal in our immediate future. <laughs> Meh. Gratitude for stopping in tracks. What is matter? Matter is uh, a bit complicated, to be frank. If we can help, we would like to do so. Meh meh. Although we pretty much only just arrived here. So if it's directions you need, we might not be the ones to ask. See, this is good music. Issue not about where to go, where go. Actually is about tracking, actually is about tracking down friends. They get lost? They not lost, no. They scatter to des designated locations to perform ordered land survey. What point of that? Measuring relative and absolute elevation of terrain, plot, distance, and other such. Oh no. Completely forgot to do mandatory self intro. Qualified, certified, satisfaction guaranteeified. Pon Spectre tend to his name. Surveying new lands is game. That was really fun to say. Pleasure to meet you, Tentu. I'm Shulk, and these are Melia, Nene, and Kino. Pleasure all belong to Tentu. My curiosity is a little piqued. Might I ask what a Pon Spectre is? Question is extremely well timed. Pawn Spectres is name of elite unit of Nopon surveyors, and Tentu is one. Nopon from Frontier Village surely hear Pawn Spectre name said in tone of reverence at least once or twice. Um, Sister Pawn, have any clue? Then I guess Data Pawn might know. Ugh, things worse than Tentu thought. Long period of suspended activity was disastrous for brand recognition. Meh. No, tribulation is only opportunity in full body costume. <laughs> Tentu, I love you. Go on, Tentu, have to put best foot forward. Tentu and other pawn specters actually come to buy on its shoulder to conduct full and complete survey. But Chief Wun Wun, who is brigade leader, forgot to inform of rendezvous point. Rendezvous point. So though Tentu finish on assignment, looks like creep... Up creek without paddle. Expect all pawn specters in same boat. Tend to think should probably go look for teammates, but uh, with monsters carpeting land, probably even veteran pawn specter like tend to have hard time. Apart from yourself, how many members does your team number? 
Nice round 11. It's not round. 11. I see. This is a vast land, so searching by yourself certainly seems dangerous. Do you know where your colleagues might have gone? Hmm. Don't do have a couple thinkings. Thinklings. Two pawn specters can probably find. Then maybe they have clues for other whereabouts? All writings. Then we go search for first two. Now wait single minute, Kino. We s s still plenty of important business we attending to. Tend to not get underfoot. Promise, friends look strong. So thought maybe can go with? That way, if see pawn specters somewhere along travel path, can help each other. Is good plan or what? What do you think, Melia? Do you really need to ask Shulk? More no pawn the better! We help you look for pawn specter friends. Should really be Miss Melia to say that. Really? Oh boy, tear ducks of Tentu welling with joy. Thank you, friends! Can you tell us, to the best of your knowledge, where would you expect your colleagues to be? One was in charge of area between crossroads on the way to Companions Cape, all the way to Nerthus Necropolis. That one is a bit of coward, so Tentu not sure he do survey job properly. Other one was assigned to area past Crag Mall Cavern, stretching from lake on lefty side up to Pillar Knoll. Might be having case of screamy ab ab dab what? What is this word? Might be having case of screamy abdabs at unexpected circumstance, so Tintu would like to put mind at ease. Unless friends think Tintu is some kind of freeloader, rest, let's re reassure. When push comes to shove, Tentu shove. I feel better already. Thank you, Tentu. But of course, Tentu, most grateful too. Oh. No pun are so precious. Okay. Pawn Spectre enabled special attacks. The pawn specters are an elite band of surveys from Frontier Village, split between red, blue, and yellow teams. If you can befriend members from all three teams, Shulk and his friends will gain access to new kinds of special attack. Alright. The full pawn specter brigade numbers 12 members. To be off to the location of others. Oh, okay. Pawn specters on the banner shoulder should have issues they struggle with. Ah, uh, okay. In the collectible section of the main menu, you can access the Pond Spectre report to learn more about the Pond Spectres you have befriended up until that point. We will get an open army. I was joking when I said that, but yes. Oh, hi. Tete. What, what, what Tete do this time? <laughs> I was not expecting that voice. Qualified, certified, only mildly terrified. Pawn Specter Tete is a uh, name and surveying new lands' game. But really, none of that matter right now. Tete is smack in the middle of cas cataclysmic struggle of life and death. Um, and I have bad feeling and pit of tum tum. Indeed, something ought to be done about this. Tete was sneak secret surveying, careful to hide from watchful monster eyes. But then made worst mistake of life. At end of pawn inspection, let little victory cheer slip out. And then monster spotted Tete. Monsters poised to lunge for soft, succulent body of Tete. Thanks to quick escape legs, Tete able to hoof all the way here. But then grim realization dawned on Tete. Somehow, Tete lo lose more precious than life protective charm. Tete think possibly could have dropped at Nerthus Necropolis, just upslope here. Oh, please help Tete to find dear friends. Tete is begging you. Okay, we can do that. All right, please join our army. Ooh, friends found? Oh, it's happiest day of life of Tete. Tete would start to be afraid would have dangerous bad luck forever. Tete finished his survey work only to be spotted by monsters at the last second. He oh, okay. Yay. 
Friends seem like reliable sort of folk, and um, Tete do need to see Chief Wun Wun. So maybe what friends say to escort Tete to meet Chief? Fear of Tete dwindled to tiny pebble if surrounded with trusty allies. Tete might look like wimpy pants on first blink, but cowardly Hixir actually hiding real talent. Friends know Archaeology Center at Frontier Village. Surveying is indispensable skill for excavation, and Tete happened to be a proud member of Survey Department. Path of surveying fraught with a Alert some monsters, but Tete no secret art of sneaking and weaving between. Can tell friends all about juicy foot steppings later. I will use my power to protect my yes. friends. We have gained Tete. Oh then up on Alright. This is very exciting. Alright, let's see what we have gotten ourselves into past the Cragmall Caverns. Other than no pun friend. <sighs> this is cool. Oh yeah, that is Alchemoth. Okay. You okay? Hmm. Miss Melly, what's wrong? Oh. Is Tammy hurty? Oh, she's kind of no, sad. Nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. Also, the war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding, slowly but steadily. Mm -hmm. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Yeah. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't. Not at all. Yeah, I mean, like, just because you found some bit of happiness doesn't mean that's selfish. Like, the high end here of Colony 9. You we were taking care of everyone there. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy hat. <laughs> you know, there's the other pun up, Mama Pun, but still for a bounce. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Kino. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Sis! <laughs> what the, what the, why you bring that up? It's completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not cheer up, Miss Melly. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> oh. Anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. There you go. Yeah, you're bringing hope to people. To become the hope of the high India is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. <laughs> oh, this is. You are the hope of the high India. Oh, but making me remember all this sad moments. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. 
I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Aww. <laughs> Did the little happy dad onwards to Alchemoth? <laughs> oh, this is just oh. happy, just so bittersweet. Some of this, Evelyn. Qualified, certified, but fully booked, so hands are tied. Pond Spectre Evelyn. Yes. Is name surveying New Lands' game. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, friends have impeccable timing. Evelyn, in dire need of helping. I assume from their expression that this matter bothers them. Survey for day was finished, so Evelyn make to sit down on sitting spot over yonder for well-deserved snack break. Was just removing tasty morsel from knapsack when all of a sudden, whoosh, splash, meal thing plops straight into lake. Oh god, in a single eye wink, like tears standing under waterfall. <gasps> Wapple sardine in lake scoffed down every last piece of hard deserved footage. But no ugly fishy fish incur wrath of Evelyn and live to swim about it. Sardine will rue the day it made enemy of Evelyn. Friends speak to Evelyn because felt urge to help Nopon in distress, right? Then please avenge poor Evelyn. I will do. Alright. Uh You took snack and you must die. Alright, join our team! Me 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 sniffle day of joy. Evelyn was a gog watching friends bish bashing smelly fish brits. In fact, Evelyn feel a whole lot better now, although no it's no use. Tum Tum feels so empty. No energy even for shimmy. But if friend's able to bring Evelyn Morrow Cobb from where for about to maybe able to kick start metabolism. We have plenty of those. Here you go. Ah, Morrow Cobbs. Munch crunch crunch. So slurp. So tasty. Can feel life flowing back into limbsies. Hanking munch frings. Very much. Maybe I'll just have half a crunch. Not so bad after all. <laughs> All right. Please join us. Woo, Evelyn whiffed whole thing down. Now it's about time Evelyn make haste to finding Moon Moon. Come to think, life all about helping each other now. Dread think what would happen if Evelyn collapsed on road alone. Clearly friends have obligation to assure Evelyn come to no harm. So take with and deliver person safe to Moon Moon. Though must say, made good survey progress today. Like in... Days of old chief who established pond specters retired now. When one would stay in to take mantle, practically only ever do charity work for Frontier Village. No pond specting at all. Evelyn nearly forgot was even pond specter in first place. Okay, it's settled. Friends, all ready to set off? It is time to deliver results of survive to Chief Woon Woon. Oh, they're doing the little salute. Yes. Yay! We have a yellow team. Meh, friends want to know about other pond specters? Not to spoil all fun, but Evelyn have one small idea. Try here. Oh, nice. Look at this. <gasps> oh, the no pond. This is fantastic. Just watching them all like totter along behind me. Oh. Incensed Deca Deca. Enemies are closing in on a pond specter. Save them before they get eaten. All right, let's do this. Let's go. We will save the Nopon. Get this. All right, one is down. Save the Nopon. I wasn't planning on doing this quest, but uh, I kind of forced my hand. <laughs> I mean, I was planning on doing the quest, just not right this second. I was like, oh, let's just kind of track down the Nopon, figure out how to get there, fill out our map a little bit. Hi. 
Do you have old man voice? Qualified, certified, uncontestified. Hornspecker Decker Decker is my name. Surveying new lands is game. Decker Decker really thought it was cut for a moment there. Friends snatched the life of Decker Decker from trolls of death. When Decker Decker finished surveying area, lit monster repellent ensigns that got from friend. But then monsters appear. It makes no sense. Why on heck monsters not repel? Why attract? Meh. When Decker Decker take whiff realizes actually monster attract and ensigns. Friend must have put in my mistake. Or this could be trial that fate posed for Decker Decker to challenge resolve. Fate call on Decker Decker to re defeat monsters by own self. Meh meh. But Decker Decker do nothing. Just call for help from passerby. Disappoint himself. Well, in any case, thank friends for well-timed rescue. Decker Decker not forget this kindness. <laughs> Alright, this one tells us if we get all of our pawns by, uh, to follow us because having like a over a dozen no pawn would be great. By the by, did friends see two full moon somewhere? Maybe Decca Decca have to hand in survey results. Meh. Moon run rise in ranks very quick. Was once rookie of team, but now chief already. Very unexpected. Must be recognition for excellent skill in pawn specting. Decca Decca must follow shining example. Is key tenet of pawn specter organization that good effort always recognized and rewarded. Oh, we get to level up. Nice. Okay. Blue team. So we have two blue and two yellow. Okay. We have, we have a whole line of nopons here. Melia, the nopon queen. Yes. For four. Quality certified, making wild more pure, prettified. Pon Specter Fafora is named, surveying new lands is game. Oh, why are you surprised Fafora like that? Made Fafora recite whole Pon Specter spiel and now survey in big shambles. How are friends going to make up for it? Eh? Hope not thinking any can make teensy apology and just walk away. Uh, what did we do? Fafora going to have to ask help with small matter. Then we'll let friends off proverbial fish hooks. Tell me in greater detail. So friends will listen. Oh goody. Before I know his friends were citizens of upstanding moral character. Small matter is nuisance Cromar on the other side of Zen's thoroughfare. Right hand side. They keep getting in way of Fafora. Before is still busy mapping out area, so it would be giant help if friends could remove Cromar from picture, please. Alright. Oh! Hey! Hello, what are you doing out here very randomly? La Van? I see. Huh, never thought I'd bump into anyone around here. I, uh, I'm looking for my brother. He's gone missing. If you find anything that looks like it could be a clue, please show me. Oh, okay. Fifa. Meh. Meh. Qualified, certified, bald, and center justified. Bond Inspector Fifa is name surveying new lands is game. Surveying. <laughs> Fifa take care of that ages ago. Now Fifa busy with detailed breakdown of local ecosystem. Meh. Should be pr prioritizing actual work. The five I will be done soon. Only 52 species more to document. We know exactly. Ah, how about if friends can solve brain teasers of FIFA? FIFA will finish up research and resume duties. It also like game and hobby rolled into one complex analogy. Life is too short not to play a metagame. Listen well, FIFA need things as follows. I drift, I dig, I not so big. I sink, I rise, but where are my eyes? That drifts and digs, but has no eyes. Alright. Interesting. Ah. Oh, hi! What's this thing? Yes. What Qualified. Certified. Though patience is severely tried. Pawn Spectre. Hekasa is named. Surveying new lands is game. We cannot certify these conditions. If not have stakes, not equipped to do job. Friend must hear lament of Hekasa. Tell me in greater detail. You know what to ask too. In order to measure elevation of point, Hakasa drives stakes for use as markers. But when come back to f finally measure, a stake is missing at this recurrent issue. Starting to go beyond joke. And Hakasa double triple check if securely driven in, so no blame slipping of mine or a gust of wind or other such guff. Capiche? Sorry, Hakasa just eagles to get quota done. We'll watch from high ground so friends acquiesce to put stake back in. Oh. Cool. See stake with red top on left bank of lake. That one all fine. Problem is elsewhere. Keep up. 
There's tree on bank that neighbor's bank with stake in it. Please plant stake in area under tree. Alright. That's not too bad. That's what that is. I finally found out what this is. Awesome. Seems to be the correct spot. Nice. Seeks. The stake seems to be embedded to the requisite depth. Alright. Alright. We have a done our duty. Please join us. Yes. I got us all. First wing witness to crime. Turk and face make off with stake. What is big idea? Hard no respect for honest labor. This is reprehensible. Sorry. This reprehensible. Class warfare. Ah, uh, too much nerfs for Hekasa. Need to take five. Hekasa no, have no option but to outsource job to friends. Friends dinners will hear request even without paperwork comes. Friends will bash upon bird brain oppressor and reclaim means of surveying. Feathered scab rough off, run off in direction of companion's cape. Friends pursue post haste. All right, but uh, we need more nopon. Yes, I was not expecting to grow a nopon army. Um, <laughs> I just said that like, oh, we've got two nopons. Like, we need we need more nopons. Like, there's only one nopon. Um, our party, you know, in the main game, which is like so many homes, and you know, one high entia and one nopon. <laughs> so the more nopon, the better. I'm super excited. All right, yeah, that was superbly fun. I would die for Nene and Kino. Nene and Kino are just... <sighs> Melia, forget the Empress of High Antia. You should be the Empress of the Nopal now, and you're just gonna collect an army. Also, they should definitely shove that... What is his name? I didn't even care to learn his name. Gelgar. Also, yes, we should shove uh, Gelgar off a cliff sooner rather than later. I don't like him. I don't think anyone... Well, okay, no. The poor, unsuspecting, just naive, very trusting, loving Nopon. Don't realize. But even Shulk's just like, ah. Even oblivious Shulk. Gelgar. I've got my eyes on you. Me and my Nopon army will take on Gelgar. Let's jump right into the comments. My first comment is from Koro. I do wish there was a secret version of Zanza, who is level 99 if you did everything. It makes the final boss so easy if you've done everything. Also, the music while fighting Zanza is one of mine and many others' favorites. I would absolutely love a secret version Zanza fight. Oh, you're level 99, you've done every single side quest, leveled everything to the max, taken on Avalanche Abyssey, and you think you're going to steamroll God. Think again. You are trying to usurp God, and you will suffer in order to prove yourself. I wouldn't even be mad. I would be flat out impressed that they created a secret second boss to take on completionist players like myself. This is a fantastic idea. Why is this not being funded? Why is this not being implemented? I demand secret second bosses to mess with players who do everything and think they're going to steamroll the final boss. Although Kathy probably only says this until she actually has to do it and then just cries. But I would still take on that challenge. Anyways, thank you so much for your comment. And our second comment is by Lucas Vols. Since you talked about how Ricky is the best, here's a cute little tidbit in the ending. Ryan says Ricky needs 14 fish to feed his family, meaning he has another little pawn. And in one of the heart to hearts, Ricky talks about adopting Shulk. Excuse me, Cabe, you've already given me heart problems from all the chaos and just insanity you've put me through. And now you're giving me diabetes from the sweetness. I can't, I can't. Ricky is best no pawn, best hero pawn. I love him too much. Anyways, thank you for pointing it out and for that comment. And that is sadly the end of our video and our comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Future Connected and are looking forward to more. And with that said, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon.